like Norgen Engineering, you buy the highest levels of technology for your machines, and the latest one is this one, the Maltus U3000. Why did you buy this machine? Uh, we bought this machine uh, mainly because of the, uh, the quality of the machine itself, um, high-end Japanese manufacturer, and also we knew that uh, NCMT were a, a good quality uh, agent for the machine in the UK. Mm. Uh, obviously with a high uh, reputation for service and backup on the machine, so that was the biggest, one of our biggest reasons for buying this machine. And I know historically you've worked for some of these companies, you've been an application engineer, so yeah. how have you found it on a technical level? Uh, it's been very good, uh, even from, from day one of uh, buying the machine. Um, but the, the whole project was uh, managed by NCMT right from day one, including uh, bringing the machine in, measuring the, uh, the area up for the machine to be installed all the way to final training on the machine. It was totally uh, dealt with by NCMT very, very well. So let's take, open the door and take a look. Yeah, sure. So what options did we take on the machine? Well, the main options we've taken is uh, full B-axis on the upper turret, and obviously uh, uh, 12,000 RPM spindle on the upper turret with through high pressure through coolant. That's a 20 bar on this particular machine. Uh, on the lower turret, we've got uh, um, uh, driven tooling as well on the lower turret at 6,000 RPM. So that means we can do milling on both spindles at, uh, consecutively or at the same spindle uh, at the same time as well. So it uh, gives us a lot of flexibility on the machine. For make balance turning? Uh, balance turning on both, both ends of the machine, yep. Yeah, uh, for roughing and finishing balance and turning options as well. So we've got ultimate flexibility, that's essentially what we're saying. Yeah, we've got total flexibility on, on both uh, both sides of head one and head two so we can use both turrets at both ends uh, both turrets are both at one end at one time or the other, other end at the same time it gives us uh, decreased cycle times uh, increased pro productivity and we're also seeing a greater uh, part quality as well on the machine what other options and features did you invest in so there's two other uh, options we chose to to put onto the machine one was a uh, hopping function um, that's special to uh, to Akuma uh, that gives the ability now to hob uh, splines onto our shafts and gears onto shafts. Uh, so that again, it's another option we can do on the machine without having to go to another area of the factory or to be subcontracted subcontracted out to uh, to, to a gear, gear cutter. Uh, the other option we've got is anti-vibe on the machine or anti-vibration software. Uh, we have a microphone uh, next to the machining area, and if uh, if that picks up any vibration in the workpiece as we're machining it then the machine then adjusts the speeds and fees accordingly to suit the, uh, to try and reduce the amount of vibration on the part. And what's the benefit of that? I guess tool life, surface finish? Uh, it's a tool life, uh, surface finish and, and accuracy on size, but, uh, but obviously if you're on a finishing cut, vibration could mean a scrap part and we, we illuminate the, the scrap on the machine as well. And just finally, how accurate is this machine? Have you done any close tolerance work yet? Well, I'm currently doing a, a hard turning job on the machine and we're achieving probably two to four microns repeating on diameter, which is uh, phenomenal. And how about that, your build quality of the machine? It's obviously a big, heavy machine. Is it a single piece casting? Yeah, single piece casting, yep. Yeah. Um, the upper turret is on uh, linear rails, but the lower turret itself is on uh, hardened, gra hardened ground ways. So that in itself gives it much greater rigidity than uh, a lot of its competitors of this type of machine. And that's the hardware. How about the software? How about the options you've gone for? I know we've got anti-collision maybe. Yeah, yeah we have the anti-collision uh, on the machine. That, that works very well for us. We use that. That's only as good as the information you put into the control, uh, which is uh, pretty much the same for any machine. Does a guy uh, as good as you need anti-collision? Uh, yeah, we all need it. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, we get very close to the chucks quite a lot of the time. Okay. Uh, the well, yeah, sorry. I was, uh, it's minus six on my way to Norgin this morning. Yeah. Is this machine going to take that into effect? Yeah, it is. Yeah, we, uh, obviously we don't run the machine that often at night, so we switch the machine off at uh, six o'clock at night and then we come back in at seven o'clock in the morning. And to be honest, the part doesn't move overnight. Obviously the thermal efficiency of the machine is very, very good and uh, you know, we don't have an issue with that at all. So you're happy with NTMT, you're happy with Akuma, would, would you buy another one? You're happy with the machine? Yeah, happy with NCMT. Obviously, I had a very good service from NCMT. They've been very, you know, very active with us on the machine. And yeah, the machine, absolutely. We'd buy another Akuma. But, you know, we'd buy one tomorrow if we could. It's a lovely machine. You know, what types yeah. of components are you doing? Uh, we do, well, we are a general subcontractor. So we do all kinds of different uh, work pieces. But this machine was built, uh, was bought mainly for uh, doing aerospace type components, uh, high precision, uh, difficult materials. Um, uh, we're trying to again trying to keep the uh, the cost down, decrease the cycle times, and one hit machining. Uh, we want the part off the machine complete, and that's the type of work we are aiming to put it on. And it's four or five axes as well. It is four or five axes, yeah, yeah. Not that we've used it yet, but it is, yeah. But uh, it's a plan to use it in the future.